Welcome to the season of becoming. Becoming more of who you want to be. And the way we're going to do that in this season is doubling down. So we're going to double down on who we want to be. The way to do that is to double down on what is working for us. The first thing we need to do is figure out what's really been working for us. You see, now is the time to bet upon yourself. Now is the season to put all your chips in on you. See, we've already been through the growth part. We've already achieved success and stacked up small wins. Now, what we need to do is to become that which we want to be. See, when you start to see results, that doesn't mean you need to stop what you're doing and do something else. It doesn't mean that you already mastered that aspect or mastered that, that task or that tip. It means keep going in that direction. Don't stop the momentum. Keep going in that direction. Don't stop what you're doing and start something else. Continue on what is working. Double down on your efforts. And some of the ways to double down on your efforts is to stop and analyze what has been working, what you have been doing this past year. Now, I know I said the word stop. I don't actually mean physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually stop. I mean, just take the time to analyze what has been working. If you're posting on social media, look at your social media accounts. See what posts have been working. See what hashtags have been working. If you're building a brick and mortar business, see what days have been working. See what customers are saying. Understand what products you are selling, which ones are doing better than other ones. Double down on your efforts. So the way to do that again is to analyze what has been working for you. And you'll be able to do that when you take a second to look back at what you've been doing this year through the growth areas, through the achievement phase, and now onto the becoming, what worked? What did you try and failed at? What did you try again after you failed and that eventually worked? See, building that momentum, even though you might have failed, you found something that worked for you. And whether that's online, through social media, maybe you're an online business, maybe this is just your relationship. Maybe this is just dealing with a loved one. What worked for you? Was being a, a silent type working for you? Was being more of a chatty Cathy working for you? Did going on date nights work for you? Was eating in and cooking meals at home, did that work for you? Maybe it all worked for you, right? If it did, fantastic. Double down on those efforts. And when we start to analyze what has been working and we start to look into the minutia, into the data that we see, we start to see patterns. We understand that what we're really doing, we're creating routines. We have either adopted or adjusted the mindsets that we had. Did we start with the same mindset that we have now? If not, what did we go through? What did we adjust? What did we work on to try to get it to a new mindset to make it work for us? What about the habits you built? What about the habits that you broke down that you got rid of? Maybe you had habits that worked for you up until this point, but then weren't working for you after that. So you had to get rid of them, right? You had to get rid of those habits and create new habits that would work for you into this next stage of your life. See, what, again, what we're doing here is we're trying to become who we want to be. And when we do that, it means that we're not going to be stagnant. We're not going to stay where we are. We need to continually progress. Even if you like where you are, you like every aspect of your life, your personal life, your relationships, your finances, your job, profession, the friends and hobbies that you have, you love absolutely everything around you. That doesn't mean that you have to stay stagnant. That doesn't mean that you take your foot off the gas pedal. It just means you, you move forward a little bit slower. But you still need to move forward. When you stop, you regress. The world doesn't stop. No one else stops. The universe doesn't slow down. It continues. It continues to evolve. And so must you. So even though you got to this point where you love every, every aspect of your life, you still need to progress in every aspect of your life. 
you still need to learn how to communicate. You still need to learn new abilities at your profession. See, there are tools in the finance world that you need to learn to be able to progress with your finances. See, if you stay where you are, inflation will increase. The prices of everything will increase. You'll need to pay more money into buying that. So that means that you need to make more money to offset that. So you need to find out what other tools are out there, what other vehicles for the financial realm are out there, and take advantage of that. So you need to grow, right? We need to progress. We need to learn new things, even if we love where we are. And that doubles down even more, 10 times more, when you want to be a high achiever and accumulate more and to have more and to create a better life above and beyond what you have now. You know, and while we're stopping and analyzing what's working for us, we start to find out the things that didn't work for us. We start to tabulate and accumulate all the, the knowledge and wisdom and trials and errors that we had of things that didn't work for us. All the failures that we had, and there should be numerous ones which is a good thing, that means you're learning. But when we analyze and try to figure out what's working for us so we can double down on that, we start to figure out the things that we did that didn't work. Now, I'm not saying that once you figure those out, you completely discard them and you don't worry about them. You just don't work on them at this point in time. See, we, fought, we, we, we tried and we failed, but that doesn't mean we won't need that tool later on. It's just like a carpenter using a screwdriver to try to hammer in a nail. It could work. It's going to take you a lot longer. But they make this thing called a hammer that is specifically designed for driving in nails at a faster, better velocity. So you can do it quicker. So even though you try the screwdriver, the hammer worked better, doesn't mean you won't need the screwdriver later on in your life. See, as a carpenter... As somebody who is creating something around them, they need a multitude of tools to make the job complete, to finish the job in a fast amount of time. Could they do it with one tool? Sure, they could. It might take them 10 times as longer as if they would have multiple tools at their disposal. So even though you're analyzing and you're trying to double down on the things that worked for you, Understand and write down the things that didn't work for you and keep that in the back of your mind. Keep that sheet of paper or that tablet or that phone that has that information. Keep that ready for when you do need that because it will click in your head. You'll understand that once you progress to that next level of your life, that you will need this thing that you tried and failed at. It just wasn't the right time for when you first started it. But now... In this new level into the future, this is where you'll need that trial and error, that knowledge, that wisdom to know what the tool is used for to help yourself progress to something greater. It's just like adding another layer to your game. And I want to use the basketball reference here. You could be a great scorer, right? You could be the top scorer in the NBA, but you're not the best player. You're not an all-time great and to get to be that all-time great status, to create something above and beyond yourself, you need to add layers to your game. You need to be a good passer. You need to be able to dribble. You need to be able to move without the ball to open yourself up for a shot. You need to be able to rebound, to steal. And then on the other side of the court, you need to be able to play defense. Basketball isn't just a half-court game. It is a full-court game. You need offense and you need defense. So to be considered the greatest player of all time, if that is your goal, you need to be able to play defense at a high level. Do you want to just be the greatest scorer of all time? That can happen too. But don't mentally sit up there and think you're destined for greater things when your ability is only giving you one option. But when you're adding layers to your game, when you're figuring and finding out that right now dribbling isn't your strong suit, let's, so let's work on shooting, double down on the shooting. Become the best shooter out there so that when you get to that next level of your life and you find out that dribbling needs to be a greater part of the game, you can start working on that. You tried and failed and now you can use that as a tool later in the game. Now, I know all you basketball experts out there will say, well, you need to be able to dribble 
through the whole game. You need to know that at the young level. I get that. This is all just an analogy. It's a metaphor. So hang with, hang with me. <laughs> the fact of the matter is, the world isn't slowing down. The world is constantly changing. So no matter if you like where you are, you still need to move forward. You still need new skills. You still need to double down on the skills that you have to become better at where you are. Inflation will increase. Problems will arise. You need to accumulate tools and vehicles to be able to help you combat those situations. And then for those of you who want to accumulate a greater persona, to create something that they only dreamt about, double down on your efforts now. This is the season of becoming. Double down on your efforts. Double down on what's working for you. Double down on that mindset that you created. Those habits that you created. Double down on those. You needed them for a reason. They're working for you for a reason. Double down on them. The things that aren't working, don't get rid of them. Just hold them off to the side. But double down on the efforts that are working for you in this season. Don't worry, next season... There'll be other things that you can do, other vehicles, other tools, other tricks that you can learn to be able to help you grow into a better person. To understand and put yourself in a better mentality and a better vision for your future, I highly suggest you go check out my Smash Your Goals video to give you more of a sense of where you want to bring your life into. Whether it's one year, two years, five, 10, 20, 30 years down the road, you need to figure out what you want to build your life towards. So check out Smash Your Goals video to figure out where you want to be in your life.